We have more information this evening on the investigation into the murder of Frank Q. Jackson, the grandson of Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson. Mark Namick is here with some of the first official details of the shooting. We want to warn you that some of the information may be disturbing. Hi, Mark. Hey, good evening, Russ. Yeah, this is a tough story to report, regardless of who's involved, because these crimes are, are often very brutal. The grandson of Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson was shot multiple times in the head, arms, and torso, according to an autopsy report reviewed today by 3 News. The records reveal the mayor personally identified the body of his 24-year-old grandson, Frank Q. Jackson, who was killed Sunday night on the city's east side. The records also show the younger Jackson was found face up near unspecified number of shell casings and a dirt bike. The reports do not offer any clues to the motive or links to Frank Q. Jackson's troubled past. The reports co were compiled by the Cuyahoga Medical Examiner. They do offer the first official record of details of the shooting. Now, we've reviewed records which did not include photographs under a special exemption of the Ohio's public records law that gives journalists limited access to such reports. Mm, there is a poignant moment you see at the scene that night where Mayor Jackson is, is there with Blaine Griffin, the city councilman, and Chief Calvin Williams, and Blaine Griffin has his arm the, the, the two have a him. really long history, and earlier this week we talked about uh, my time with, with the mayor earlier shadowing him. We were at a uh, football game with Frank Q. Jackson. He was playing against Blaine Griffin's children. Wow. And so there's, there's a good history there and yeah. uh, tough for both of them. Okay. Mark Namick, thank you.